and Dr. Anthony Perez, I'm the current medical director of St. Luke's Medical Center Global C. This is actually the first uh, training course in extracorporeal membrane uh, oxygenation being held here in the Philippines. So we're very glad to be hosting this first uh, ECMO course and we believe that this is very vital in advancing the critical care uh, medicine in the Philippines. The purpose of this course is really to find a core group of physicians or ECMO specialists to help them teach the future physician leaders of ECMO in the Philippines. So this whole thing is basically we want to simulate um, the environment of an intensive care unit with ECMO patients. This is the first course in Philippines and then uh, I've enjoyed it very much. We conquer the world, just you and I. No holding us back. We will demonstrate a lot of uh, interesting uh, technique that is uh, for the safety of cannulations. Uh, ho ho hopefully, it will translate into a patient, uh, better patient care. It's it's a pleasure to meet the team from from Hong Kong and the Asia Pacific also uh, team, learning from their group and to be able to get their strategy on how to become better teachers and trainers for ECMO. this but when you woke up this morning and you walk through those doors you are making history because today is the first ever adult ECMO training course in the Philippines really appreciate uh, how you are willing to put yourself out of your comfort zone to, to help us teach. It's been really great. The first session really went well. And uh, uh, for us as instructors, it makes, it makes our experience so much better when we see you smile and say that you've learned something. So actually, we at MO is uh, going to support the patient hearts when the pa when patient got a cardiac arrest or some cardiac problem. We can provide a more treatment or more uh, modality to help the patient to recover. like to teach ECMO is very different from the traditional way of teaching. Instead of lecturing for many hours, we like to teach them with hands-on education and that's through the simulation that you're seeing around us. So the students actually participate and learn uh, how to use their, their minds and their hands and how to work together. Take the chance to shine.